Hi everybody. Um, tonight we're going to be doing uh, shrimp tikka masala. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, pretty fun dish. I've been wanting to do it for a little bit. Um, it's because it's delicious. So yeah, let's get into it. So we got some of our ingredients here. We got uh, garlic, some uh, ginger, yogurt, spices, uh, a little water, and we got tomato paste, and yeah, we'll get into this. Okay, so we got our pan heated up here. We're just going to put some, uh, we're going to get some of these onions in there, all cut up, and we're going to cook these for about, I'll tell they're golden, so, it depends on a lot, you know what heat you have it on and that kind of thing. We're going to go about medium high on this one so it doesn't burn them but it's going to nice flavor, nice color. Yeah, this might take a little bit so while we're doing that we're going to do some other things. Alright, so we got it. Our onions cooked. We're going to go ahead and add uh, some tomato paste, two teaspoons. We're add our ginger, our garlic. powder and uh, the masala seasoning. I'll put everything in the description so you'll have a, something to go off of rather than just all the ingredients will be in the description. Wow, that smells good. banging on the side of the pan. <laughs> We're turn this down just a little bit, about halfway, so it doesn't stick. Oh, God. It smells really good. Take a cup of water. We're just going to add it to there. One with our shrimp. Cook the shrimp all the way through. You know, mix that all up there. So you get that good seasoning all the way into, the, into your meat. Okay, so that's what it should look like. You should see the shrimp's all nice and cooked there. We're going to take and turn that off. Then we're going to put a quarter cup of yogurt in there. I'm going to use Greek yogurt because that's what we got. So, then we're going to stir that up, make it nice and creamy. I'm going to make sure that's mixed up really good. Probably because I use the thicker yogurt, it's going to turn it a little lighter color than normal, but that's okay. It'll still taste good. Oh, that's about it. There we have it. I'm going to put a little salt and pepper on top and stir that in. Pretty easy recipe, really.
throw some rice on a plate and stick this over that and call her good. All right, so there's our finished product. Looks pretty good. We're gonna go ahead and eat it. So yeah. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and give this a whirl. Um, this is the first time I've ever made this. Uh, I did taste it a little bit. Tasted pretty pretty good. So we're gonna go ahead and eat that. And uh, as always, I'll have uh, the recipe and instructions in the description. Um, if you're on Instagram, go ahead and give me a follow at kitchen underscore mechanic 1997. Um, and that's where all my other stuff is. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, hope everybody has a great night. Here's your help.